I am a proud new partner of Car Marshall. If you are interested in a new or used car, please click on the link in my description box below. No credit check, no cosigner. That's Car Marshall. His name was Francis Scott Key. He penned a song that I'm sure you're aware of. You've seen it. It's in most hymnals throughout our churches. It's called the National Anthem. It is our song as an American. We go, however, to a ball game. We stand in our church services and we sing the words of that song. And they float over our minds and our lips and we don't even realize what we're singing. Most of us have memorized it as a child, but we've never really thought about what it means. Let me tell you a story. Francis Scott Key was a lawyer in Baltimore. D.L. Hughley once called the Star Spangled Banner a diss track on black people. When you hear the national anthem, they only sing the first verse, because after that is when they start talking about the pleasures of killing runaway slaves. A lawyer from Baltimore named Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner, which is our national anthem. This same Francis Scott Key is responsible for the first ever race riot after he tried to prosecute an abolitionist. In a book called What So Proudly We Hail, author Mark Leapson goes in on Francis and speaks about how derogatory the song is. This man Francis was a hardcore slave owning racist. The US was at war with the British over what we know as Canada today. Unexpectedly, the U.S. declared war against them during the time when the British was getting busy against the French. So with them being short-handed, they started recruiting slaves from the U.S. They started recruiting the slaves to the system in the war, telling all U.S. slaves if they participated in the war, they would be set free. The poem Star Spangled Banner was written based on everything that Francis Scott Key witnessed during the war. Just take a look at these lyrics for a second.
Amazing Grace by John Newton. The Amazing Grace is a repentance song. This song comes after seeing the gruesome treatment of slaves. John Newton was a ruthless slave owner who had an epiphany as being a slave ship captain. John witnessed women, little girls, and even little boys being raped on slave ships because they didn't want to bring any virgins over. The wretch he speaks on in the song is himself. He came to light after two men viciously tried to rape a slave, but she chose her own fate by jumping into shark infested waters. She much rather would jump into shark infested waters over being raped. Now John realized how inhumane this was, and then he wrote the song. The ice cream truck song was written in 1916. It was very popular during the minstrel days, but somehow it took over as the famous ice cream truck song. This was the ugly history behind America's favorite songs part one. Make sure you thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comment section. <laughs>